everyone. Uh, welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. This is a game called Skeletress. I got it in the Itch.io bundle for racial equality. Oh. Okay. E. M. Ah, yeah. Caves 1. So this is a puzzle room like. Um, it looks very interesting. It looks very well made as well. There's a mess to pick up equipment. Small artifact. Oh my god, it's Tetris. It's skeleton Tetris. Oh my god, that's so awesome. That's so cool. I love I love really cool uh, like loot systems like that. That's so awesome. Oh my god, I love that. I love everything about. It. Ooh, that's a big fella. Host cave crawl. Hostile thrower. We got a reliable three. Oh, it's defensive high. Dagger of Pain, it's throwable. That's so cool. Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> this one's really cool. So, um, it's free. I got it for basically free in that big bundle I mentioned. Um, if you didn't get it, shame on you. That's a... I mean, don't shame on I shouldn't shame on anyone. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let's grab this one too. Um, you know, to each their own. But it's a really good cause, and it's really, really good games. And like, even if it's not good games, there was like eight thousand of them or something. So yes, this game is free. Um. You can just download it. I would recommend paying for it because this one's really good. It's a rake. It's a rake, huh? You can also use the... I'm going to avoid the heck out of you, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Caves 3. Ooh, 4. Potion of Healing gives regeneration for four turns. It's very simplified. This is all really, really solid. So, oh, <laughs> that's so cool. I guess one of my main things is that I don't feel a sense of progression. Uh -huh. I don't really feel a sense of progression as much because, um, I just don't, I don't feel like I feel a difference in my stats when I put in new blocks. But on the other hand, I guess I would notice it for like a lot without it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going until I die. Bring it on, buggo. Oh, my mouse is doing the thing in OBS. I wonder if that'll show up in the recording. This is one of those games where it runs kind of windowed. It's a bucket. No treasures. Damn. It runs kind of windowed, and OBS just despises that. Doomtown. Hello? 
Hello, are you alone? Did you come from the city? Do you know what happened? The path did you take is... Sorry, sorry. I'm bombarding you. Yeah. On any other day, I'd welcome you into our outpost, but there's a little problem right now. Maybe not that little. Sort of medium. Maybe medium big. Anyway. A huge spider found its way in, and none of us can safely fight it. We've trapped it in the central chamber, waiting for it to get weak from hunger. But that could take a half cycle or longer, depending on when it was last fed. Meanwhile, I'm stuck out here, hoping nothing comes out of the caves and dismantles me. Do you think you could help? You must be tough as nails, coming all the way here by yourself. It's strong, but not very fast. The best way to fight it is to attack while it's resting, and step away while it's active. That way, you can deal damage without being counterattacked. And it'll waste its energy chasing you. Does that make sense? You know it's resting when you see zzzz above its head. It's right through that door. Thank you, Survivor. Outpost 53. Welcome to Tombtown. Um, I'm going to take a quick recording break here and make sure that that all recorded right. But I'll be right back. Alright, I reset OBS and played around with the resolution to see if I could get this to work a little better. Um, let's go kill... Ooh, it's just a big old spider, huh? Okay. Huh. Notice board. Tax season's coming up. Late fees will be enforced. She's gone. Okay. Just smack my lips a little bit here. Oh, are there going to be lots of them? Oh, Toontown City Hall. What was all that commotion out there? Spiders again? I keep telling our citizens to close the doors after themselves, but they refuse to listen. Can you believe it? But never mind that. Welcome to Toomp Town. Oh, no. Well, this guy's getting a new voice. <clears throat> On Patches, the mayor. Say, perhaps you'd like to open a savings account. There's treasure down that hole. Activation keys, a couple of portobellos, and our growing cell is perfect for any spore, common or exotic. Up to 4% interest after cycle 2 is practically guaranteed. What do you say? Unless you don't have any... Uh, never mind. Well, better days ahead then, friend. Okay, that's really cool. That the money is, is mushrooms, and then interest can be collected. It's a large cluster of mushrooms. Pea patches. What is that? Oh, 20,000 mushrooms, huh? And then 700 mushrooms. That's great. Oh, that's so funny. That's such a cool use of... Strong economy always makes a good town, is what I always say. Central Bank or not, we'll be ready when the market returns. It, that's, that's such a clever idea. I, for one, love mushrooms, as evidenced by my big fan of Morrowind. Quite a fighter. Thank you so much. You aren't hurt, are you? Did you meet the others? Not everyone's here to thank you, but you've done a great service for us today. I wonder if you could help me with something else, too. Animals weren't always like this, you know. We became aggressive four cycles ago, but at the same time we lost contact with Skeletris. Since then, we haven't received a single message or traveler from the city. The path through the swamps to the north, but it's too dangerous for any of us. We already lost someone trying to pass through. If we can't reconnect, we'll eventually run out of supplies here and go dormant. Ugh. So they must not eat, so they must do something else. Would you help guide us to the city? We'd fall behind and assist you on the journey. What do you say? Path is north of here, through the swamps. Your only hope, Survivor. So is that my name, Survivor? Bean Skulls Tomato Grove. Hello there. Thank you for taking care of that spider. We haven't met before, have we? I'm Bean Skull. What's your name? No matter. Welcome to Toontown. Final outpost before Skeletus. Don't believe we heard from them in a while. No matter though, don't need the high-tech gadgets or artificial whatchamacallit to grow my tomatoes. Real problems of wildlife. Very dangerous now. Makes it risky to gather seeds. Something strange going on there. I can feel it in my bones. Tomato plant looks well maintained. This one also looks well maintained. You know, Mary's Adventure Tours. I don't suppose a skeleton would feel anything besides in their bones. Alright, gotta click it. Push into quickness. I wonder if I get a larger one of these. These are defense. 
This is defense. Does this do anything? Okay. It's a very weird game. Sword of Truth. Oh, yeah. A mower plate of some kind. Bones of stone. Dagger of pain. Throwable. Plus one damage. Oh, I've already had, I already have 50 of these. And we've got lots of healing and quickness. This is, this one's really cool. What's this one? Workbench, it's well used. So, is this a bug? Maybe it is supposed to be like that. Not that I mind, I think it's a good aesthetic. All right, so skip turn. Oh, that's just the space bar again. Feel free to use our cloning machine if you like, just in case, you know, no pressure. It's okay if you don't want to. Okay. Welcome to Clonebot, end of the chamber. Scanning, processing, building new template. Finalizing, success. Due to our strict anti-duplication policies, clones may only be produced upon receipt of 66% of the original or organism's remains. Call to maintain. Exit the chamber. Game saved. Wasn't so bad, was it? I hope it goes without saying, but if anything goes wrong with that adventure, I'll do everything I can to bring you back, okay? So is she going to, like, corpse run me? For those who don't know, a corpse run is whenever um, a game has a mechanic. Swamp's one. Based around the player's death. Uh, Dark Souls is a good recent example where the player's death will leave a Ah, you can tussle with these guys just like the spider That's cool Artifact. It's purple. Does that change anything? Wait, let's get this one out of here. No, we can't. So all attacks. So defense. So defense. Okay. A lot of swords of truth here. Small muncher, hostile potion. Ooh, that one looks good. Hmm. Well now. Time to play the beautiful game. Very interesting, like, control scheme, or not control scheme, um, inventory system. Plus four, man. Wow. Oops. Yeah, I like that. Got a display there. Plus six, wowzers. Okay, now I'm actually starting to see a difference in stats in a big way. I mentioned earlier that, ooh, need some help? Give me an artifact, I'll reroll the stats for you. Bit unpredictable, I'm afraid, but I promise to do my best. Could you give it a shot? 
So I guess I'll drag... What's a crappy one? This one. Here you go. Hope you like it. Plus five vitality. Okay. the same. Can't do any more right now, I'm afraid. All right. Interesting. Out of his rhythm. Have to bash through them. So I wonder if artifacts can be used to buy and sell things. It's a plant, looks well maintained. So interesting. Now I gotcha. Heck yeah. Alright, sort of truth. I'm getting a lot of these. Should I have this many swords? All right. I'm getting RE4 flashbacks, and you know what? Any game that gives me the feeling of, man, it makes me think of RE4. That's a good video game. Just flat, you know? Oh, there we go. scrambling to get shit in your inventory. Yeah, leave some space open. And of course, they don't appear to be the actual Tetraminos. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I, because I remember because Tetraminos, no, it's either Tetraminos or Tetraminos. And one of them makes sense, the other one doesn't. issues putting stuff in my inventory. I don't know if I ever get a bigger inventory. Swamps too. It also kind of has like a Game Boy feel, which is cool. Uh, yeah. Roll this, my man. I don't know if he changed it. Uh, let's try this one. Can't do any more. Damn you. Oh, whoops. Unless you're going... <laughs> this process is a bit like growing tomatoes. You never know what you're going to get. Except for actually growing tomatoes. Kind of know you're going to get a tomato. This one time, I, th I planted what I thought were tomato seeds. Came time to harvest, turned out there were radishes. Some of the worst spaghetti sauce I've ever had, let me tell you. Ugh. It's like a rhubarb pie. Whoa. Slug. Hostile slowing. Oh, so it like sleeps for two turns. Whoa, it's big. Okay, how do I use this? Wake up, they go. Oh, this could be trouble. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay, 
Okay, he's awake. Fall back asleep. Style leaping. Large artifact. Wow. Whoa. Oh boy. Got a lot of stuff in my inventory. <laughs> So far, which is you know not a bad thing. Very much easy me into the adventure here. <gasps> oh yeah, here's the deal. You give me a potion, and I'll give you a new one back. How about it? Certainly. I got a lot of these. There you go. Confusion. Hey, hey, I think you had enough. That's fair. By the way, don't operate any hand machinery after drinking that. I guess because he gave me confusion. This little thing reminds me of like a quickling from D and D. Shield of security. Three defense on hit lasts for four turns. Oh, this is gonna be trouble, huh? Okay. You know what? I don't have to embarrass myself. I'm gonna do this off camera. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back, just so I can take a little break here. So, I'll be right back. Alright, did the best I could. This is where we've ended up. Oh, jeez. Oh god. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Potion of healing two. Regeneration two, two turns. Four turns. Whatever. Uh, it was a little hairy. Sure is a rake, you know. Oh. Hello there. Wouldn't be able to tell now, but this used to be a place for... The swamps used to be a popular place for picnics and hikes. City skeletons come through here all the time. It used to be our job to the outpost to make sure that none of them wandered accidentally into the caves. Getting lost was the biggest danger back then. Not like now. It's so violent now. Anyway, we should get moving. Sorry, I just had to... Dark Souls my way through that dialogue there. Swamps 3. There should be a boss coming up, huh? I might have already said this, but this has a very Game Boy feel. Ooh, what's the this? Cyclops, hostile flinching. Interesting, so it'll make you flinch. That's cool. Slug bro, I don't want to fight you. Oh, brother. It's every day with these slugs, you know? Being pincer attacked. The slowest, slimiest pincer attack you've ever been a part of. Eh, I'm good, honestly. It's a really interesting game.
I feel like I'm just inundated with loot, which I'm not sure about. Ugh. Because we've obviously reviewed uh, a couple of roguelikes now. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Well. No! <laughs> All right. Oh, we're back here. All right. Well, that's a good place to stop it. Stop the recording. I'm going to do one more attempt. Uh, and then I'll be right back. All right, so before we get right back into it, uh, this is the Itch.io page for Skeletris. The outpost, has, the outpost has lost contract with Skeletus, the central skeleton city, and creatures in the wilderness are acting strangely. Make your way to the city, find out what's happened, and use your wits to defeat the unknown that now lurks there. Uh, and then there's some bullet points. Puzzle-based equipment system. Use procedurally generated artifacts and weapons to build your character. Arrange them in your 5x5 five five equipment grid like puzzle pieces. Some NPCs can reroll stats, change the shape, or modify items in other ways. Term-based content. Take advantage, take advantage of enemy positioning and timing to fight safely. Potions and certain weapons can be thrown at enemies. When zzz appear among an enemy, it means one attack for a turn. Full story and subtract. Hand-built levels are interspersed with generated ones to tell a linear story. I have honestly never minded linearity in games. Sometimes a game has a story to tell, and it has to go in a specific order, and that's fine. There are some games, like The Elder Scrolls, where they have just completely shot themselves in the foot by making the story non-linear. Or, um, making the, the gameplay non-linear. Um, each section ends with the unique boss counter. Progress can be saved at checkpoints, and there's over 10 songs. And then there's a small description of the... Small description of the controls. Oh, there's a full screen. Damn, I should have read that. Full screen doesn't work well with multiple monitors, sorry. Tips and tricks. Go easy on the weapons. Their stats and abilities don't stack, so it's a waste of precious space. Could just one or two and support them with artifacts. That's cool. Uh, you can number keys to select between them. Kite enemies whenever possible. Throw potions at bosses and enemies. A debuff will change the make difficult battles easy. Wow, that's really cool. Um, yeah, this is made in PY game, Pi game, and Pi OpenGL. Um, and it's by someone who goes by Gast. G A H. Nope. G H A S T. Don't mind me. I am dyslexic. I think. All right. All right. What's odd? Welcome back. Do you still remember me? You took such a beating back there. I'm sorry for putting you up to this. Made sure to collect all your gears and limb, though. Glad to have you back. So is that my free one? No, I appear to have lost some stuff. That's okay. I had too much as it was. Um. Cool. So then I guess we'll see where we're going now. Swamps one, okay. Okay. And I'm gonna do one more. Oh, you know what? There's not a level system by the looks of it. That might be why I'm having some uh, feelings about it. Because progression just being item based is fine. Oh boy. Progression that's only item based is perfectly fine. I just feel it's more it's it gives you a more obvious feeling of progression when defeating a monster will always do something for you that's another one of those little decoration it looks like he can only throw on straight paths and i imagine he gets more or less accurate based on his proximity to me and he can only throw if i'm one or two One more. 
one more. One more. All right. So yeah, it looks like you lose some of your stuff, which is fine. This is an entirely equipment-based progression game, and so not having any sense of loss in it is some weak sauce. My kingdom for the ability to attack on diagonals. Yeah, this is a very good game. Um, like, if you ever see Gast on Twitter, shout out be like, hey, this is a really solid one. Like, this is already one of the better roguelikes I've played. It has such a fun environment and experience. Um, I, of course, remember the, uh, all the... Remember how skeleton memes ruled Tumblr? Yeah, I was right in high school. I was at prime meme potential when that happened. And then, Undertale came out. Dude, skeletons rule the fucking world. And of course, I was glad for it. I like skeletons. Sometimes too. Skeletons are cool. There's a skeleton inside me right now. Seriously, put your hand on your forehead and just kind of squeeze. That's your skull in there. Think about how big your skull is. That's so cool. So I obviously... What was I getting at? Anyway, I love this game's aesthetic. You wouldn't be able to tell now. Oh. I got that dialogue. So I love this game's aesthetic. I like the, like, Game Boy style. That's super cool. I like that we have little... Whip of Agoni. Oh, it's a big block too, huh? Interesting. But it makes them flinch. I'm, I feel like I'm getting shorter levels now, and I'm not sure if that's just because I died or if it's luck of the draw. This one looks pretty big. Yeah, this is a really, really well-made roguelike. And like, I don't know how well I can actually judge uh, roguelike's quality, but then again, I now actually have a show wherein I play roguelikes once a week, unless I forget and uh, upload a meme video about having a big cock. I'll leave those on the floor. Uh, excuse me there, Mr. Slug. I'll be out of your hair, or whatever slugs have. Don't slugs have teeth? He's coming. Oh lord. He's slugging along. Large cluster of mushrooms. Oh, can I take them? I need money. Put that on. Um, I like that it's very, very obviously demarcated into two blocks. I need a walking one block as a turn. That's really nice. Slingshot of hope. <laughs> Swaps position with target on hit. That's interesting. I like that you can open everything and still have the game playing. That's cool. Because you can just pop open the menu. Your defensive options are kind of limited, naturally, but it's because this is still a D&D game, just like the usual Rogue. really cool um i recently made the choice to drop the episodes down to 30 minutes instead of an hour uh the dark pool i might play this one for an hour this is a really really well-made game gate to the city is behind this chamber the monster behind this door dismantled someone important to me if you see any straight bones in there just be careful with them okay good luck survivor good luck survivor uh null potion gives nullification 
Oh, it's got to be physically. I have to be no. Spear of Justice. Oh, it's really, really long, too. That makes sense. Cave Beast. Hostile. Shield. Machi. Well, that's the boss for you. Dead. That's a Skeletress. That's Friday Night Robot. I have an Alfred. This is an amazing game. It's on Itch.io. It's free. Please pay this guy something. Um, I did technically buy this game, but I got it in the bundle, so I paid a fraction of a penny for it. Uh, you know, I'm just noticing that... Uh, on the actual store page for Skeletress. There's a gif of the boss I'm fighting. And the guy uh, uses a potion on it, I think. And I forgot to use a freaking potion. Uh, oops. But yeah, this is a really, really good game. I had a lot of fun. Um, this is an excellent addition into the library of games that I've played for Friday Night Roguelikes. It mixes up the the semi-basic formula of a roguelike and adds in a puzzle-based inventory system. It makes me feel like RE4. Uh, it has a fun, cute Game Boy art style. The music is pretty good. Uh, I didn't even get to hear all the songs. I didn't even see all the areas. This is a really, really good game. As, a, as roguelikes go, this one's up there. Um, shout out, cast. This is, this is really good. Um, but yeah, that's Friday Night Roguelix. That's the episode for this week. I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by and watching me play a video game badly. Remember to brush your teeth. But don't drink orange juice before you do it. See you guys next week.